jump and be crazy when people come over so your guests can have a peaceful experience coming to your house so in society right now I have seen that it is becoming it is seemingly becoming okay for dogs to be wild when guests come over but it's not okay actually I have kids I go to people's homes and when their dogs are wild it's actually a dangerous thing people generally don't want to be jumped on kids never want to be jumped on um, but people will sometimes say it's okay, okay? But it's really not okay, all right? So I think it's very important to train your dog not to jump on guests. There's a few ways to do this. Maybe the best way and the way that we're gonna show you today is the go to the bed method, okay? So what we're gonna do in a minute is we're gonna bring Ginger out. She's a board and train that's working on this behavior and we're gonna show you how to train the bed then we're gonna have my wife come out and actually be a guest. And she has seen my wife, but she really doesn't know my wife. So it really is a, a, a real guest-like experience coming over. And she's gonna probably get up and we're gonna show you exactly every step of the way. Now the key to this behavior of your dog not jumping and being nutty um, around guests coming over, the key to this behavior is to do the work when guests, before guests ever come over. That is the key to everything. All right, so we need to train the bed to stay, and then we need to approximate and act like somebody's at the door. By opening the door, we need to add knocks, we need to add all kinds of things, and then we're gonna get, bring the guest in later, and that's exactly what you're gonna do too. All right, for, so for the first step in, your, in having a peaceful guest experience come to your house is to train the dog a bed stay. All right, bed stays aren't that tough, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then we need to add knocks, you leaving the bed to get to get the door and then eventually a human being coming in and the dog still staying. All right, so we've got Ginger here and you can use a leash for this behavior if the dog's like out of its mind because the leash has helped them not be able to leave you. Ginger's been here for a few days so she knows some a lot of these behaviors. So first thing we're gonna do, you do need treats. This is good behavior treats. I don't like treats for everything but treats are good for this. So all I'm gonna do is take a treat and I'm gonna lure the dog, Ginger, Bed. Now, as you can see, Ginger already knows the behavior, all right? I'm gonna act like Ginger doesn't. Okay, so that you guys know. So act like this is your dog. So just take a treat, lure, say bed, give it. Okay, then you can release the dog. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Now what we're gonna do is do a bed stay. Ginger, good girl, ready? And I'm gonna sort of approximate, oh, she already knows. I'm gonna approximate myself, bed, Stay. Okay, so once you've done a little bit of work on the bed, now you're going to be at this point. Stay. And you're going to start to go towards the door. Don't go to the door. Maybe your dog's not ready for that. How about you're just going to go back, reinforce the stay. Are you going to release the dog? No, we still got more to work on. Stay. Send the stay, right? Like that, like that. Now you're going to go a little more towards the door. Now she can handle this, but your new dog might not be able to. So I'm going to act like this is a brand new dog. Go back to the dog. Look at this. Repeat the cue. Stay. Don't just not stay stay and expect your six-month-old dog to totally know what you're asking. I'm gonna then, okay, I can then release the dog. So let's do a little practice. Ginger. Then. Now we're going to do the second step of introducing a family member. So I'm going to use my beautiful wife, Liz. She's going to be the family member. Now Liz hasn't met Ginger. So this is going to be kind of like kind of a new person coming over to your house. So remember the second step, we already trained the bed stay while you go to the door and no one's at the door and you knock on the door, but no one's there. Okay. Now the second step is a family member coming to the door. The reason this is an important step is because you can just 
slam the door on your family member and they're not gonna get um, offended. Whereas a guest, you're not gonna, trust me, I, I've done this with a lot of clients. No one wants to close the door on a guest and say, give me two minutes while I train my dog. All right, so you have to be able to close the door on your guest, go back, put your dog back on the bed, and move on and then go and open the door again. So we're gonna show you the steps with Liz. You're gonna be the guest. Sound good? Yep. Okay, come on in, we've got Ginger ready. So we've got Ginger in here, this is the house. We've got the guest outside, our family member ready to knock on the door. Um, she's doing a pretty good bed stay, so we're ready to just add the knock and then I'm gonna get her and we'll see how it goes. I don't really know. Okay, go ahead and knock Liz. Ginger, come on. Bed. Stay. I'm gonna always keep an eye on her because if she gets up, the key to this behavior, you have to say uh-uh and put her back on the bed. So even when I'm talking to the family member, and you're, remember, if you do this with guests, it's gonna be hard to go back. So you have to keep an eye on her and keep an eye on your family and your guest. Hi, how are you? Good, how about you? One of the triggers for the dog getting up is the guest speaking. So the minute, say again, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? She even perked up, but she didn't get up. You can't see her right now, that's okay. But she didn't get up. Okay, now the, not, the other trigger for the, the, the dog getting up, which if they get up, you gotta put them right back where they are, is her seeing the guest. Ah! Uh -huh. Good, so I marked the behavior. I said, uh-uh, and actually I moved into her and she chose to go back on the bed. So that's fine, it was a mistake. Animals and people learn from mistakes, so that's okay. Hi, how are you? Good, how you are gotta you? go through this talk with the family member that you're gonna do with a, with, a, with a real guest. Okay, come on in. Now I gotta keep my eye on the dog. Because the minute the dog sees the family member, the kids, come on in. This is my dog. We'll close the door because the dog's getting a little excited, but she's not getting up. So we've avoided the craziness at the door when our family member, the approximation of our family member coming over. Now what we're going to do, she's still on the bed, stay, remind the dog to stay. Now we're going to let someone come in that she doesn't know. So this is your next step, allowing your, when your friends come over. Okay, so you're going to put your dog on a bed, stay. Actually, we're going to release her and we're going to start all over again. My son is going to help us with this. So release, we're gonna release the dog and almost act, let's even act like it's just a normal situation where we're just hanging out and someone shows up. Ginger, okay. Okay, so she's released, she's cruising around. So we're just hanging out, hanging, 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 hanging. Cruise, knock on the door, please. Oh, someone's at the door. Now she's being calm, it's because we're in the middle of training. Your dog's gonna be like crazy, crazy, crazy. Ginger, get your dog, use a treat, bed. Stay. She doesn't know this young man here. Keep an eye on your dog. Keep an eye on your dog. Always keep an eye on your dog. Come on in. Good to see you again. How are you? Good. Good. So now the dog is still on the bed. Stay. Your guest has come over. The dog has not gotten up yet. She's perked up. She's ready to get up, but she hasn't. Maybe because she's so good for your, like the first time a new guest comes over, maybe you drop over, give her a treat, repeat the stay. And we want her to be able to say hi to our new guest, and we're gonna release her. Okay, Ginger. Now she's gonna say hi to our new guest that she doesn't know. And this is a fine meeting. We're gonna check out our jumping videos to be able to ah, to be able to handle the jump when it happens. But this method alone will often solve the jumping altogether because we avoided all the nuttiness here. Once the dog's released to say hi to the guest, they just don't feel like jumping anymore. Okay?